I'm Dr. George Weinstock. I'm a professor at Jackson Laboratory, and I'm also the associate director for microbial genomics. And microbial genomics is what we work on in the lab. Uh, some of the things we do have to do with infectious diseases, uh, trying to identify why some bacteria become superbugs and acquire all kinds of antibiotic resistance genes and what the genetic mechanisms are for that. And some of it has to do with the microbiome, which is a really amazing part of the human body. Uh, the, you have more bacterial cells in your body then you have human cells, so you're mainly microbe, and they're all throughout you. They're in your mouth, they're in your gut, they're on your skin, they're in your nose, and they do amazing things for us because they have genetic capabilities that we don't have in our own genome. And trying to understand what's the right composition for the microbiome, what's a healthy microbiome that makes some people good athletes or makes some people live for a long time or makes some people more resistant to infections or some people have more energy or those people who can eat a lot and never seem to gain any weight. All of those things we think have to do with the microbiome and if we could understand that and understand how to manipulate your microbiome when it's out of whack, how to make you healthier, how to make you better, that's, that's what one of our goals of our research is. When I entered into science, there was a new field called molecular biology, and this was the hot new area in those days. The structure of DNA had just been discovered, and everybody wanted to understand what's the genetic basis of everything. And the, the model system that we used in those days was harder to study humans, even harder to study mice, and the model system we used in those days was to study bacteria. And so I became involved in microbial genetics, uh, for my whole career. And we've done other things. We've taken little soirees into the Human Genome Project and many other uh, genomes of, of animals of interest and even some plants. But microbial genomics has been a theme through the whole process. It's been known since the turn of the century that people have lots of bacteria, lots of microorganisms in their body, but it wasn't easy to study them because they're thousands of different taxa in, 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 a, in communities that are mixtures of all of these different organisms. So you can't really study it very easily. And in the mid-2000s, the technology for doing DNA sequencing took a radical new change, just like when the internet exploded and suddenly all computational and communication and all the other things that we have now that resulted from that came about. So it was that in the mid-2000s when DNA sequencing technology changed, suddenly we were able to do all kinds of things. And one of the things we could do was to study mixtures of microorganisms just by sequencing the entire mixture and then figuring out what are all the genomes that are there, what are the organisms, what are the genetic capabilities. And so I've sort of evolved from using bacteria as a model system to understand the genetic basis of life to now studying what's, what's almost like another organ that we have in our body, all these microbes with their genomes and all the things that they do. So I've had the good fortune to be on a number of scientific adventures in my, in my career. Uh, when I was in graduate school and getting my training as a postdoc, that was when genetic engineering and recombinant DNA first happened. And I was very fortunate to be one of the soldiers in, in the development of that. Uh, then I was fortunate to be part of the Human Genome Project, uh, where when I was at Baylor College of Medicine, and we set up a, one of the big genome centers for sequencing the human genome. We did chromosome 3 and chromosome 12 and part of the X chromosome of humans. That was our part. And then uh, before uh, I moved to Jackson Laboratory, I was part of the Human Microbiome Project, which was sequencing as many different bacteria in your human body as possible, sequencing all these different communities of bacteria throughout your body. And that was also a great adventure to do that project. So. Here I am now at the Jackson Laboratory for Genomic Medicine, another brand new research institute with tremendous aspirations, very ambitious goals, and it's another great adventure. And it was just too much to pass up coming here and being part of this and bringing the experiences that I've had scientifically here so that we can try to build something that goes beyond any of the things I've done before.